And yes, we're back at Sega's Flag to Flag Racing. So let me just get it up and going. There we go. So we're going to finish off the championship we started last Please time. There's Gilda Fair in here. At Starting up here at Michigan. So we'll see. Qualifying on the two and a half miles. It may as well be super speed way for these cars. Why I was starting. Yeah, let's, let's just start it at dead last. Oh, two mile oval. Mm. And of course, we didn't do that laggy thing. There we are, dead last. Alright, here we go. Start the motor. Fire it up. And we're ready to go. Supposed to be the US 500 as you see here. We've got 12 laps of fast racing here at Michigan. Again, so to dead left. Let's see how we do this time around. Again, we're off. Let's hit it again at the end of the season at Fontana. Traffic. 
Ja. the halfway through the field. The cap is gonna pull me here with a flat cap. That's our first oval win. So here's the result of today's race. 
That's really gonna help us out in terms of the points. Alright, let's see what that puts us. That did get us the lead in the points. Next up, we're going to Lexington, Ohio for the running of the Miller Lite 200 or 225. Sorry, no alcohol responses. I mean the Pepsi 225. We do well here, we could have a serious gap at the points lead. Start the motor. Fire it up, and we're ready to go. Alright, here we go. One little detail that this game does get in real life, uh, the race, the spot of the race actually takes place along this way away. Yeah, this way away is this way. That's just one little detail they forgot in this game. They just wanted to keep things in the form of starting the card finish line. There's never actually another indie card game that uh, they might put that back. Or if they race here, it's like four of them. I'm 
of that is Adrian Fernandez. So the end for a big point lead heading into the... I think Vancouver? I don't remember where we're going next. That for one more lap. Come on. And he comes out straight away where Fernandez has a seat, or anybody has a seat. And into the grass. I think Fernandez just won the race. Only hope is maybe Greg Moore. Pretty much slower than everybody. Else, I don't want to wreck him out. I don't want to wreck out Fernandez. So I want to pass him clean. There we go. Like everybody's gonna get away with their lap on the lead lap. Fernandez let the most left, so he'll get the point for that. So it is a win for me, you'll defend. Let's move on to the next race. Oh, Masahita finally got his first point. Meanwhile, we now take a 34-point lead in the standings. And we move on to round 14. Ah, Road America. The longest road course on the schedule. qualifying so we can start at the back of the pack. As you see, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is a just slightly over four mile racetrack. Which makes it, again, the longest track on the hard static schedule. Start the motor. Fire it up. With that, welcome to Elk Park Lake, Wisconsin. The running of the Texaco Haviland 200. Right, we're going up the hill to start the race. And with that, away we go. Two laps only because of how long this stuff is. So next time by is already going to be the white flag. Sometimes get the speedway pace out here and out here in the track. Oh, in the grass we go. This might be the only race we end up not getting points at if I keep getting into the grass like that. Be wrong because here we go up through the field. Right behind Alex Barrett here, 12th place. Make moves up to 12th place. There we go, heading up the field. 
I cut the hair like this, see? Ah, didn't notice that. Grab it. As usual. Last lap. Seems like, whoa, 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 whoa. It seems like whatever we gained on Tenardi last week is going to be pretty much gone this week. We'll still have the points in there, but the car is not going fast. Oop, yes, I need to grab I hope he didn't win this movie. Maybe if I stop hitting the gas, things will work out better. Oop. And down the final half of the track. Okay, so we got a point on the board, at least. Have to let off the gas on the big guy. Oh, nope, never mind, no points. Maybe, maybe a point. Fernandez, I'm betting just won this race. Had to do a block <laughs> just to get a point out of this race. All right, I keep forgetting 12 is where you get the points. Now that makes sense. I'm thinking Formula One logic. <laughs> but no, it was Dario Franchini that won this race. He already finished third, so he's not going to get maximum points. So he will catch up by a bit. Yep, the lead's now cut down to 13 points. As we head into, quickly into round 15, it seems. Now we're in Vancouver. Near two mile temporary circuit, and we get our first taste of the rain this stream. <laughs> Seventh place. Here's As Frankini once again leads the pole position. Nardi, Nardi down the fourth place. Gentlemen, start your engine. We're reaching the home stretch of the twenty. Of the 1998 Torch FedEx Championship Chip Series season. Our camera swings around to our point of view. We have four laps of racing here. And we're off. our last international stop on this series. No, wait, no, there's one more. How could I forget this? One more place we need to visit, and we'll see that in a bit. Okay. See, I'm glad I keep turning the damage 
off for these games. Bumping as everybody passes. Whoa! That's not good. That's not good either. I think I just ruined two people's day with that trick. Then you got time to catch up, but still. Dang, I can't tell these turns are coming. Sure, I could look up and see the turn is turn indicator, but that'd be too easy. Sorry, Max. Dang, I just did not anticipate all those cars breaking. Alright, we've reached the halfway point of the race. There's an Artie. Always good if we can beat him in a race. Soon. Prepare for that time. Not up to seven. Oh no, not yet. Gotta go down the wall, back and clear the way. Yeah, I, I did, I did lose this game. Don't worry. Further up ahead, it gets better. Here we are. This place. So many turns here in Vancouver, and in the wet. Like, he just took the white flag. Last left. Long past me, guys. Again! Hope the podium Maybe. <laughs> get past that one, get the third. Yep. Almost got, nope. I'm gonna say, can we pass got two or two seconds? How about that bump in the wall? But third place, still not a bad place to finish. That gets us 14 points on the board. So here's the result of today's race. Okay, here's top five. That for us. Frank Kitty moves into fifth place with that win. We move up uh, 22 points ahead of Joseph Fanning, <laughs> of Alex Hinardi. Alright, here we are, round 16 at Laguna Seca down in Monterey. And it's another rainy day. We have three more road, three straight, three straight road courses. All by the final race down at California Way Fontana. So we started last place to make it more of a challenge. Starting grid. There we go. Start the motor. Fire it up. And we're ready to go. Down 16. 
Unintentionally, they always fall off. Right into the one that we don't 
10 points on the board, heading into Houston. Yeah, third and won the race, Kanan finished second. Kanan moved up in the third place, like past Frankini. So that's gonna get him a... That's gonna get him a few points ahead. That catches us up to 18 points behind, heading into Houston. Yeah, to Houston. As we are down, down to the final stretch. No rain this time. Just a nice cloudy day in the streets of Houston, Texas. Point six eight miles temporary road circuit. All that matters is an RD is starting second. Start the motor. Fire it up. And we're ready to go. Alright, that is the Acura Pace car. Houston, Mexico, Houston Grand Prix. Thank you with the win. We finished second. 
Alright, so here's the situation. We have an exactly 22 point lead cap. If we finish this race, if we finish this race, if we win this... 22 points. Yeah, that's the maximum amount of points earned, so... Uh, if we still get a good finish here, we can... If we finish ahead of the Nordy, then we clinch the... Fed Card 1998 Card FedEx Championship. There you go, that's what I'm trying to say. And what else are we gonna do it? Surfers Paradise down in Queensland, Australia. Right into the race. So Zanardi's in the lead. So we have to win this race, it seems. And he's got the bonus point. So this race will come. So the championship, in some sense, will come down to Fontana at the end next at the next race. Start the motor. Fire it up, and we're ready to go. Behind the BMW pace car. That's the final point. They had another final point. Alright, three laps of races. Let's get as close as we can to the Nordy. To make, it, to make Fontana a bit of a challenge. He's already guaranteed the bonus points to have sitting on the pole. I could wreck him and we win the championship outright. Yeah, if we win, fantastic. We punch the title. We can do pretty much whatever we want in Fontana. But we can also get as close as we can. I would encourage you to kind of do the qualifying. Uh, here we go. Just driven this racetrack enough time and racing games to know how to go around Circus Paradise. That's no call it next year. Starting in the next year. Starting in 1999, I think. Not the lap led for the Nordy. We gotta leave the next two laps. Get that extra point here. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Never a good thing in the road course. Oh, come on in. Did it again. I believe I've gotten rid of a rear wing in every track I've been on. Uh, except, well, I, I should say, pretty much every road. And almost every speedway. And there goes Ray Moore. Come on, man, I'm just going to slam into everybody back in the car, aren't I? Oh, I dented Leto's rear wing now. This could just make me win the championship. Unless they can get out of the way fast enough. Oh, 
that is good, but anyway, too bad. Whoa! Get on the back speedway. Looks like looks like Bernardi did get past the last card. And yeah, pretty much nobody else did, so that makes it a little bit easier on me heading into the final race in Montana. So here's the result of today's race. All right. So we're 14 points on the board. How much does the Nordy need to win by to win the title? He just cut to 16. So he needs. Second or better to outright win to outright win. And that's without me getting into the points. I believe if I can get into the top ten, uh, let's say eighth or better, then I win the championship. But luckily we're at Fontana. Another super speedway-esque track. <laughs> at least I'm already on the poles, and I need to finish at least seven. Let's just say a safe top five, and we can just try this. Alright, so the season ends here. Hopefully, Zanardi didn't get the pole. He is starting third. So I still need to get into a decent position to win the title. Start the motor. Fire it up. And we're ready to go. Here we are. The final stop on the FedEx Championship Series season. Hey, you made it in time. And we're off for the final race of 1998. Making our way through the field. Just gonna slow down to give myself more of a challenge. Not wait, here we go. Both laps just like in Michigan. Like I said, as long as we get into the top five, or as long as we're in within distance of Zanardi, then we win the championship. Looks like we're about to be good, unless Zanardi made a few passes. It looks like he did in just a second. From what I understood, at least, from what I understood. Oh, wait, he started, dude. Okay, My title is always at this point. Pass on two of them in, and you do. There's Nordy up ahead. Again, I can crash him and just end it outright and lose on the title, but I'm not going to do that. Intentionally. There we go, we got the pass on Nordy. At this point, we're the FedEx, part FedEx champion of 1998. We are a quarter of the way through the 
weight, so you just have to weigh more. Just give me grab it up ahead. Yep. Alright, eight laps to go. There we go. I should have slowed down on purpose to make it more of a challenge. There you go, fast as lap of the wave. Halfway through the race. And we're halfway to a championship. White flag. One lap to become the Park FedEx champion. And we'll have a good left frame to be twice. Down the front, down the start finish line to win the Toyota Fontana 500 and the 1998 Court FedEx Championship. So here's the result of today's race. Now we are in that PPG Cup. Season competition has finally ended. Thank you very much for all the to all the participants for making this basic sense. The waiting for the season does not follow. Qualified as this year's season champ, another point has been added to your career victory. 
to the final standings. And there we go. 23 points ahead. We did just enough to clinch it by another race. And that should take us right back to the main menu or the press. Oh, nope. End credits time. Good morning in-depth look at all the cars. Well, that's it for this game, but I'm gonna do another game in a bit. Just gotta wait for the credits to end. I can't skip them. I don't want to see if I unlock anything extra for eating the game's championship mode. Leaving. I just said that's it for this game. I did not say that's it for this stream. season do I do this again or we go Week one yeah we do okay oh here we are what's this take a look at this what is stupid speed mode Oh, I can race as now Shigiaki Hattori in the s song car. Or I can race as the Acura Pace car. Let's give this a try. Start the motor. Fire it up. And we're ready to go. Oh, this is even more maneuverable than it is. In the, uh... In an actual point, ironically. Seems like I could go fast and... It's hard to tell.
think the frame rate is a little bit easier since we're only doing like really with six cars. I guess depending on the race, you could actually race in whatever pace car was there. Let's see.
Alright. Welcome back. Now it's time to actually get to switch out games and go into the next game I wanted to play. Right thing to pass away. Uh, pass through, I mean. Surprise what this game is, you'll know. This one's from Midway. Here we go. This is NBA Showtime, the NBA on NBC. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's the best I could do without, uh... I'll check something. Yeah, here we go. Hopefully. Oh no, it's a demo. Mm -hmm. How did he get through? Okay, now I can turn it down. I'm gonna keep going into demo mode. If it, yeah, I forgot that it just goes right, keeps looping around the demo, but we'll hear it in a bit at the end. I thought I would just loop back to the theme again, but here we go. Oh, wait, it was probably going to that time. Oh well. Here we go. BC. First time playing it on the Dreamcast version, because I've only had the S1 and the Nintendo 64 version. Take on the New Jersey Nets. Nice feed to 
Brian. That was just the inbound pass, dude. Air mail I want to see the replay on that one. Hands off to Marbury. With a hesitation move, goaltending is called. Tony. O'Neal. O'Neal. This guy is smoking now. Fishes to Van Horn. Pulls down the board. And he lets it fly. Oh, Brian, it did it again. Van Horn. Van Horn. I'm not used to it. Goes up high. I'm not used to this kind of configuration. Hands it off to Brian. The ball is loose. Oh. Van Horn. Really throws it through with authority. Hands it off to Brian. Brian. Airmail. So yeah, technically the Dreamcast version is the more technically advanced player. This is the Van Horn. The Brian. He fakes him right out. Quick fake. Again with the shot. Ah. Hey, Jack, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> Got it now. The next lead is two. Van Horn. A long two. He puts it back in. Lights it up for two. He spun right by his man. Fires. Rolls out. Dishes to Marbury. Four two. Mind it. Probably gonna end up losing this one. Brian. He may be headed for the bench. Well, there was a good three points too, Dave. To O'Neal. Oh, he does it. Something. Hands off to Marbury. 4 3. That ball was halfway down and then came right out. He launches one. There the we next go. lead is two. Marbury. Awesome defense. A Hail Mary. Oh! Nailed it. The ball is loose. Oh, but there goes Van Horn. Van Horn. He's Van Horn. Nice feed to Bryant. Brian, and he missed it. Van Horn, and that's good for two. Brian, nothing but nylon. Marbury, play is getting very physical. That's a foul. Come on, man. Marbury, he shoots. Yes. Hands it off to Brian. O'Neal. Oh, come on. At least he blocked it. He shook him out of his grip. Not that time. Brian. There is one minute left. Count it. New Jersey by a point. A long two. He lays a brick. Smooth move. Oh, with the alley oop. Ah, come on. Dishes to Brian. Time is winding down. Shaquille O'Neal. He got it. Van Horn. Danny pumping. Actually, did not think he hit it. Yeah. Or he let go, I mean. Bryant. The ball is deflected. Van Horn. The last shot. Up by three from way outside. Fox pulls down the board, fires it from long range. Oh my. Hands off to Fox. Really funny. Let's see that one again. New Jersey up by three. Puts it back up. Again, the shot won't go. 
Finally got the lead off that. Hands off to Marbury. Back up again. And he missed it. O'Neal. Dishes to Fox. No good. Oh, what? Van Horn. Shoot it there. No! <laughs> At least we got the lead. Fire. Right, this game should be easier to go by now. Hands off to Fox. Ow. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Lose this game. Nice Don't care. No more dunk. <laughs> Don't count him out yet. Cross is over. Van Horn. And we gotta see that one again. He even got blocked, I heard. And it's all starting to unravel now. O'Neal. <laughs> Okay, at least we got a game here. Time. Again with the shot. He just launched one. Oops. And it comes away with the ball. That's it. The New Jersey Nets. Trying to say the Los Angeles Lakers keep the New Jersey Nets. Let's quickly switch to. Unless is this going to be the one where they show the team again? Let me see. Hello. 
Just let me see something before we switch it over real quick. Oh, you know what? I'll, it'll do it anyway when we get to the next one, so hang on a second while I set it up. Didn't mean to click stream starting there. Uh, there we are. Oh wait, we could just set it to... I hate that it still doesn't do the thing right. Oh, unless... Yonicom Developments Limited oh. Entertainment Software Games. I thought I had to actually... Electronic fun for everyone. Hold on, before we do, let's just... Screen right. Unless we set it... We, oh, nope. Gonna have to be the best I can do. Yeah, this will be a better sounding theme. If you're still there, man. Yonicom Developments Limited Entertainment Software Games. Electronic fun for everyone. Really? Well, I think I need to let it do that again. <laughs> game on here to end the stream. <laughs> oh, wait, forgot to actually press start again.
Here we go. Will Purdue, Cornell David, Malik Sheely, Kevin Garnett. Here's the tip. Right through. Garnett. Dishes to Purdue. He pokes it away. Sealy. And this guy is really heating up. Finds David. to Purdue. Let's it fly. Purdue. Bounces out. Hands off to David. He's going airborne. The Timberwolves lead by two. Takes off from the foul line. Oh. Right through. David. He'll take the three. Garnett. Yeah. Hey, take it. Hands off to David. Goes up high. And now he spins right by him. Lights it up for two. David. Garnett with 30 seconds to go. Garnett! Hands off to Purdue. Riley's guy. Hands off to Garnett. How did he get through? Oh boy! He knocks the ball loose. Second. To Garnett. He spun right by his man. Hands off to David. David. That was all net. To Garnett. Garnett. Twisting and turning. Nothing but nylon. Dishes to David. Fires. Hands off to Garnett. How did he get through? Nothing but the bottom of the net. David. Hands off to David. Look at him go. Garnett. Takes off. Finds Purdue. Going airborne. Hands off to Garnett. Garnett. Kevin Garnett. He gets by him. Dunks it for two. Hands off to Garnett. He slides by. Finds Purdue. He spun right by his man. Sealy. See, there we go. go. Finds David. He launches one. Hands off to Garnett. Launches his body. All these high flying jumps. David. Nothing but nylon. Garnett.
passes to Purdue. And now he spins right by him. This guy is really heating up. Hands off to Garnett. Garnett. Oh, with the alley-oop. David. Again, the shot won't go. Finds Garnett. Garnett. This is the feeling. Nothing but nylon. David. Throws it down for two. He spun right by his man. He's going airborne. Finds David. Launches. Hands off to Garnett. And he fakes his man out. The ball is loose. Hands off to Garnett. And now he spins right by him. Kevin Garnett. David. Baby. Finds Garnett. Winding down. Here is the two. Purdue. Oh, he is wide open. Dishes to Garnett. Garnett. Dishes to Sealy. Garnett. He couldn't it. Oh, nailed it at the buzzer. Here we go, final quarter. And now he spins right by him. This guy is really heating up. Hands off to Purdue. Oh, he is wide open. Minnesota up by three. Fires it from long range. Way above the rim. Look, Ma, no rim. Minnesota by a point. Oh, what? Oh, this season got it back. To Purdue. Dishes to Garnett. Launches. To Purdue. He just left him standing there. Hands off to Garnett. Nothing but the bottom of the net. David. Right through. Minnesota by a point. Hands up to David. David. It is all tied up. Dishes to Garnett. Garnett. Launches. David. This guy is smoking now. To Garnett. He slips by. Oh, and it falls through for two. To Sealy. Garnett. Anything can happen. Don't count him out yet. And it's all starting to unravel now. Garnett. Kind of already unraveled a bit there, Tim. They need to get something going here. And it's all starting to unravel now. Garnett. And he missed it. That's it. Launch it. Oh, we just lost this game in the last second to play. Hold on, folks. We got a game here. Oh! The Minnesota Timberwolves have defeated the Chicago Bulls. Well, then. That was... That's a win! How's <laughs> that even happen?
Folks, it's not going to get any better than that. I'm going to end the stream now. Wow. Incredible. Um, well, thank you so much for watching today's stream. Uh, be back tomorrow on YouTube, so be sure to check me out there. Uh, anyway, guys, I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.